it is a beautiful, incredibly beautiful day. We're actually on a boat on the Atlantic now. It's kind of what we've been waiting for. I didn't realize they had, those are their antennae. Is that how they feel? This is really surreal. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Good morning everyone, welcome to the Weekend Adventure Canada. Today we are in St. John still, New Brunswick, and this morning we are coming to you from a market, a giant market. It's called the St. John City Market. It's actually the oldest incorporated city market in all of North America. North America, that's huge. The city yeah. just never stops surprising us. So there are a lot of local, local, locally grown vegetables, fruit, there's seafood, um, they have fishmongers, there's cheese, local cheese that they sell. It's basically a gigantic farmer's market that's open daily. So stay with us. We've got a ton of activities planned for today, but right now we're going to go get some souvenirs and some seafood and try and take in as much as we can here at the St. John City Market. So, rock and roll. Yeah. Lobster, I see it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Snuck up on me there. I wonder if the trail um, goes along those cliffs. Yeah, and now we are, uh, we're still in the Bay of Fundy, we're still in New Brunswick, and now we are standing in front of a cave. I know. And the cave restaurant. That's right. we will be dining at. This is where we're having lunch later. We were driving by and we thought we would take advantage of the fact that the tide is out right now because by the time we come back for lunch, I believe it will be well on its way of working up the shore and then we won't be able to go in the cave. We would have to swim into it. We would, and we're not going to do that because the water is cold. <laughs> So we're gonna go take a pop inside there and see. Oh, probably not a lot, a lot, because it's really dark. It's a cave. <laughs> you didn't bring, you didn't bring your headlight. No. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go check it out and see what see what's inside. So let's uh, hop, skip, and jump. I have a feeling this way is across this little tunnel. Is it? Gosh. You want me to carry you? <laughs> really surreal. Canada is such a cool place. So many things I haven't seen and done here. It just keeps getting cooler and cooler. This is kind of crazy because look at where the water line is, like where all the seaweed is. That is where the water line is when the tide comes in. This is all water. Like 20 feet of it. 20 feet of it. But there's a trail that way and there's a trail that way with more ropes. Ten minutes ago, ten minutes ago, we came around this corner to go check out the caves and now 
It's, the tides probably come up, I would say, 30 feet. In 10 minutes. So I'm glad we didn't <laughs> explore any longer back there. I would have been on the other end of that rope. We all would have been, but I would have been at the top. <laughs> Save yourself. <laughs> this was like a trickle the last time. Stairs. We are at Fuller Falls on the Bay of Fundy Trail. It's very majestic. Well, they're not large falls, but it is very majestic in here. It's kind of the New Brunswick theme. Is Simple majesty? I think so. <laughs> it's true. I'm actually blown away that I've never been here before. I could live here. Oh yeah. I know it won't be that green when it dries. We are on Melvin Beach off of the Fundy Trail and you need to spend multiple days here walking this trail and taking the time to absorb every single natural phenomenon that's happening here because it's absolutely exquisite. Everything is, the experience, the dense boreal forest. I'm standing in the Atlantic Ocean and it's very refreshing. If we don't retreat quickly, we are going to not make it back to the mainland. Look at the tide coming in, it's so fast it rolls in. Hi Nancy. Hi, Hi Bruce. Hi. How, are you? How are you? How are you guys? Hi, Hi Bruce. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Um, thanks for having us. You are so it's welcome. You own this lovely place, the Caves Restaurant. Yes. Obviously named for the fact that you were standing in front of sea caves, which people love to come and see. Yes. Especially in low tide, which I guess is the only time it's possible to see them. Yes. And walk around in them. Yes. And you guys, how long have you been here for? What's what's your what's your deal? We just finished our 34th summer on. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. So you are notorious for which menu items? Our chowder is absolutely the best menu item. We have had okay. someone from every single continent except Antarctica. Okay. Eat the chowder. We well, we're not sure about Penguins it. We have to. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, we even had a couple who came from on a cruise from South Carolina and said, do you know we were in France and heard about your chowder. <gasps> so we, really? We, yeah. really? Oh my gosh, that's exciting. exciting. We felt justified <laughs> in saying that this chowder was world famous. Okay, I think you're allowed to say that. Yes. So you're going to have us sample a couple? Absolutely. A couple menu items that yes. you're notorious for? Yeah. And, and some biscuits, uh, apparently, too. Yes, and some oh, biscuits. Uh, oh, I made biscuits oh, this morning excellent. for you. And I will warn you, if you're watching your weight, we make it with real cream and real butter. Who yeah, cares no. about weight? <laughs> I don't have it's a, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, it, so yeah. we're saying the heck with that. Yeah. Okay, well, we're excited. All right. Yeah. Bring it on. Let's okay. Let's eat some good food. Here you go, ladies. Some biscuits to go Ooh. with your chowder. Oh, I can smell so it from cute. here. Homemade biscuit. Homemade biscuits. <gasps> Seafood oh gosh, chowder. Smells so good. Oh my gosh. We could just go swimming right in there. Yeah. You could. Oh my <laughs> Thank word. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Heavens to Betsy. Find that big piece of lobster. Ooh, there's one. I got something. <gasps> Look I got it. something. Right here. That's the money shot right there. This is really exciting. Thank you. You're welcome. You might have it, Nancy. Mm. 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 I like a creamier That's good. chowder. Is really good. 
You can taste the cream. In I the think butter. that's the different, the biggest difference between it totally and like any it. other chowder mm -hmm. is that it's like way creamier than anything I've ever had. It's hearty. Well, fresh oh, biscuits oh, and everyone. butter. Wow. Look at that. Life does not get much better. I also have this thing with, with more butter. Oh yes. This is a house. Yeah, you have to add more butter. <laughs> yeah. You have a side of cream I can put in. When in doubt, <laughs> when in doubt add more butter. Didn't realize they had those are their antennae. Is that how they feel? So this is our seafood combo. Oh. And those are fresh whole clams. There's six shrimp and there's uh, two pieces of honey oh. and a half order of our scallops. So okay, these are very fun, these and actually, they're amazing. It could be argued they're considered the best in the world. I'm really impressed with New Brunswick and all the local products that they use. That's yes. really inspiring. A lot of, there are a lot of farming communities. This is Bruce's pulled, pulled pork. pork. Oh, oh, heavens to bitsy of salad. Oh. Yeah. Wow. That makes me so happy. A seafood That's salad. A seafood salad. This is incredible. With Greek dressing. Yay! We've been treated by Bruce and Nancy to some incredible food. Are it's you full? Rotten, really. Not quite, eh? Am I full? We've still got a little bit more eating to do. I don't think I'm ever full till we get back in the car. Right. And then I'm always over full. But this is amazing. Thank you so much. So Thank to, you for uh, having us. our lovely hosts. Our pleasure. Yeah. who were kind and generous enough to have us here today and cook us some amazing food. And we are going to continue on our journey. Our journey in New Brunswick in the Bay of Fundy. Whale sightings guaranteed here at the New Brunswick Museum, but of course, yeah. it's, always a, here. it's always a treat to see them out in nature. This is Delilah, and she Del is uh, oh, Delilah name. Goblet, a North Atlantic right whale, one of the more rare whales. Right. Only between 400 and 500 uh, individuals of individual right whales are, are remaining uh, on Earth. Now, Delilah, uh, unfortunately, she entered uh, the New Brunswick Museum's collection when she was found washed up on uh, shore of Graminan, oh, one of the okay. islands in the Bay of Fundy. Next to the model, we have fully articulated Delilah's skeleton. <gasps> so you can really kind of get a sense, compare and contrast between the, the model and the skeleton. Do I hope we get to see one tomorrow. So they were overhunted. is that what's going on? Uh, they, and historically, yes. Now, of course, they are uh, at risk and endangered yeah. now. So uh, right whales, and there's a lot of different conservation groups that are out looking after the right whales, tracking them to also to try to determine what makes them tick. When she was found on Grandma Nan, she had recently calved okay. uh, a daughter. Yeah. Uh, in fact, it was believed to be a, a son, so it was named Calvin. But okay. Nonetheless, Calvin is a girl. And okay. Calvin, this February, February 2015, calved her third <gasps> right whale calf. Wow. I just so Delilah here is a grandmother times three. Well, that was an incredibly important bit of tour. Well, we just, started off with the rocks. Just some of the rocks that you might spot along the coast of the Bay of Fundy and ending with some of the creatures which you might spot in the Bay of Fundy. So Delilah, North Atlantic right whales, right? finback whales, minke whales, humpbacks. humpbacks. Keep your lot, eyes peeled. They're a lot bigger than I thought they might be. They are. I'm super pumped about what they're definitely It's going to be, hope, fingers crossed, that you get to see some, yeah. because it's truly spectacular. Whale sightings guaranteed here at the New Brunswick Museum, but of course, yeah. it's, always a, it's always a treat to it's see true. them out in nature and to see, of course, the beautiful scenery of the Bay of Fundy Right, as and well. that's kind of where we're at, too. At the end of the day, regardless of whether or not we see whales, we still get to be on the Atlantic, in the Bay of Fundy, in New Brunswick, doing something that we've never done before. So Excellent. Well, thank you enjoy. so much sure. for taking us and showing us everything. If you're ever in New Brunswick um, and you're ever in St. John, come to the museum. And okay. uh, thank Great. you so much. Okay, thank you.
And the small town of St. Andrews, New Brunswick, is where we found Island Quest Marine. And uh, in the town of St. Andrews, it's a marine and a wharf there, a beautiful little town. And we are on the quest to see some whales today. What are we going to see? Because we learned about them. So what, what do yeah. you, what's your favorite? What do you want to see? Well, I have always wanted to see a dolphin, so okay. the harbor porpoise. But of course, that's probably the smallest that we could possibly see. But I want to see the biggest. We're going we're gonna to try. Then, it is a beautiful, incredibly beautiful day. We're actually on a boat on the Atlantic now. It's kind of what we've been waiting for. And we're really going to yeah. enjoy it and cruise around and lay in the sun for two and a half to three hours and possibly see some whales. So stick with us and uh, sunbathing yeah. and well watching does it get any better no, than that? Not Come really. on. Pretty good. Come on. No complaints. Oh. No, that's a log. Never mind. <laughs> There's a one log. floating right there. <laughs> I know. So this is St. Andrews. What we did is we crossed through past Maquoddy Bay. Uh, we went between here. This is a little Latite Passage. So when we come out from this point here, the captain does decide where we're going as we're out on the water. And that's because every trip that we take is slightly different. The whales, they move around this area, so we have to find them first. Uh, but generally speaking, we will stick within this area over here uh, because uh, that's where we commonly see the whales. But I will let you know along the way exactly where we are. There's three. Oh, look it! That one's pretty excited. <laughs> This is probably one of those things that you absolutely have to do when you come to New Brunswick and anywhere on the East Coast, you have to come on a whale watching guided tour and just spend the day on the ocean with an incredible group of people and very knowledgeable staff. Everybody kind of led us through and talked to us about everything that we were looking at. Very passionate. They're yeah. very passionate about their job for sure. And we're uh, we're just excited to be back. We're going to go kind of hang out in St. Andrews for a bit and see, see what this little beautiful town has to offer. We kind of blew in, so it was very exciting on the way in full of little boutiques and lots of really yep. interesting shops so we're gonna go check that out yeah okay awesome <laughs> what was that? I don't know, but I wanted to annihilate my foot. <laughs> Did you get that on camera? Yeah. We're here at the Van Horn Estate on Minister's Island. Right. We drove across the sea floor to get here. You did. So you can only get here during certain times, only right? Only during lower tide. Right. Uh, high tide is 14 to 17 feet underwater. Wow. So that whole road. That was that our question whole driving road. in. Yeah. Excellent. And you can actually, as soon as the road is available, you can drive it. It's not softer. Okay. Yeah. No. Wow. So tell us about, tell us about the island. Why, Minister why are we on an island that you can't get to half the time? Well, it was William Van Horn's summer home, and I think he planned it that way. Okay. We didn't. He didn't like he did. the uh, guests, or? Well, I think it was for privacy, Absolutely. relaxation. He That's built the railway across yeah. Canada. <laughs> he was doing all this stuff. He was probably exhausted and wanted some time to himself. Yeah. That's Absolutely. crazy. That's a great it idea. It is. A, it's unique. It yeah. Is, it'll be 50 rooms. Okay. 17 bedrooms. Like, how many kids did he have? 32? Two. Two. Two children. Son and a daughter. It seems a bit and excessive. one yeah. grandson. Everything he did was excessive. was excessive. He did it. He like yeah. 
Yeah, but I guess basically. when you like own the railway, you yeah. can yeah. do whatever you want. He didn't actually own it, but he certainly <laughs> yeah. built it. It's part of our history. It's part of Canadian history, mm -hmm. not just New Brunswick. How old is how old's all the structures on this? Ground? The house they started building in 1892, and by 1901 they had done 21 buildings. Oh my gosh! You've got the house. Because have... look at all the masonry. Yep. And they, they would have had to drag all that stuff in here. Well, the dragging of the rock came from right below us here, oh. down at the bathhouse. That's where the rock came from. So it didn't have to go too far. Yeah. And it probably didn't cost him anything. Right. It cost him a lot less to build this house than it would have any other person. This is the uh, beach area, right? Beach area for the bathhouse, yeah. So and the old pool that you were telling us right, about? Right, right ahead of us here. Well, this has been um, pretty cool. It's this amazing. is a really cool place. It's, yeah, it is. And it's, it's great that you have a, a nice historical landmark that people can come check out. And it's pretty cool that you can only come here when the tide is out. Yes, it's part of the, yeah. part of the draw is driving the ocean floor. Yeah. yeah. Take a look around. It's look at these views. This I know. is gorgeous. Such an incredible place. Thank it's you so much for having here. us. Oh well, thank you for coming. Thanks. And uh, we're gonna yeah enjoy the rest of the beautiful day and walk around. told everybody that I was swimming in the Atlantic Ocean so fortunately we just finished wrapping up and it's the hottest day almost of the year every New Brunswick person has told me so look at this beautiful view and I'm gonna go take a dip I know it's gonna be cold but it's gonna be amazing and I will never regret it ever I'm going one more time because I'm in Ready? Make sure there's no jellyfish. I love New Brunswick. It's amazing. It has been an incredible whirlwind of an adventure since the minute we got to New Brunswick. I have not been able to wipe the smell off my face and look where we get to end our adventure. We finally arrived at the Algonquin and pictures do not do it justice. That's right, it's one of the oldest hotels. It's an absolutely beautiful testament to that era and we get to spend the night here and it's gorgeous and we're super excited. We have a lot of people to thank. We are so incredibly thankful to Allison at Tourism New Brunswick who set all of this up for us and made sure that we were able to come and stay at places like this and just really enjoy ourselves. And we also have to say thank you to the people of New Brunswick who have been an incredibly welcoming, loving community and they've been so great to us and our hearts are very thankful. Absolutely, I am so ready to hop into one of those beds, put my feet up and just absorb all of this wonderful, all the wonderful things that we've done in the last few days. Let's do that, let's just go crash. Oh, let's do it. Come on, come on, come on. Come on.